Very interesting round of AFL football. Just the five games this week. Mark McVeigh to have his thoughts on the opening game, particularly North Melbourne. Fantastic last week. Carlton, not so. And this is a game that might just see the end of a few careers, I reckon. Yeah, well, there's a lot of question marks over the Carlton Footy Club and, and players, in particular Chris Judd. What mm. is he going to do uh, for 2015? Will he retire after a magnificent career? But North Melbourne, uh, they're a side, well, you never know what they, you're going to get, but they should win easily against Carlton. Yeah, I'm thinking the coach is starting to have a few yeah. second thoughts as well. He blew up at someone over, I Cameron think it was Ling. Cameron Ling. You Cameron can't, Ling. You can't yeah. beat up on a redhead. No, absolutely. And Lingy, uh, well within his right, had a crack back, so uh, very good. And I think it was a points decision to Lingy. <laughs> I think most people agree. Fremantle. Travelled to Eddie had to take on St Kilda. Uh, they lost Lenny Hayes, who retired during the week, uh, mm. and uh, that's another career that's come to an end. Magnificent career, magnificent person, and uh, I'm going with St Kilda. Good New South Wales boy too, Absolutely, isn't he? Yeah. he is uh, certainly a Pennant Hills boy, so uh, he, he's had a great career and uh, given absolutely everything. 297 games, a couple of uh, representative times in the grand final. But I think St Kilda can cause an upset because of that. And uh, I know it's a big call, but he, he's a much-loved player. And you're a brave man for tipping them, and you'll be a brave man to tip the GWS Giants to upset the rampaging Cats, who seem to have found a little something in the last few weeks. Well, Scott, their coach, uh, said a few weeks ago that uh, you'd be silly to write us off because a lot of people said, oh, the wheels are starting to fall off, and uh, they certainly have proven that theory right. But uh, they'll be too strong for the Giants, who have uh, caught some heavy defeats lately. I know they'd be extremely disappointed with that. Four wins for the year. They'd probably aim to win five, but this is not one they're going to win. Yeah, they were going all right for a little while or so. Port Adelaide have to get their thing, their season back on track with a win over Melbourne. And they will. Uh, they're a better side than Melbourne. Melbourne is still in that development phase. We know that. Ruzzi's done some exceptional things with them, but Port Adelaide are a top four side easy, will play finals and need to get back on the winner's list. Now, if there was an upset, I'm thinking it might be this one, but you probably don't. No. Western Bulldogs taking on the Bombers, both having wins last week. I just, I don't know why I'm thinking it. No, and it's not a bad point. I mean, the Western Bulldogs play some really good footy in patches. Uh, I think Essendon ahead of them in terms of their list development. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the Bombers had a Too great win. Too much to play for. Essendon yeah, as well. absolutely. And uh, they've got a great spine. They were terrific against Collingwood on the big stage. The Bulldogs don't get to do that very often. I think Essendon will win in a tight one. Okay, let's have a look at uh, Mark's thoughts for the weekend. North uh, to beat Carlton in an easy one. St Kilda to upset the Dockers. Geelong over Giants. Port to beat Melbourne. And the Bombers to take care of the Bulldogs.